first reported by Candace Buckner of the Washington Post, John Wall will undergo a knee procedure tomorrow. This knocks him out of All-Star. He will be off the court for six or eight weeks for the Wizards. Wall initially banged his knee early in the season against the Mavericks. He's been dealing with it ever since. He's been trying a few different treatments. He wanted to stay on the court, but they just decided to clean it up now so he'll be ready for the playoffs. Scotty, how big a hit is this going to be for Washington? Well, I, I think it's a huge hit. Uh, you got Blake Griffin coming over now with the Pistons. They're going to be a little hungry, so mm -hmm. they may get off to a good start. And I, I think it's going to hurt them. I think they're going to slide a little bit come playoffs. And uh, I expect some teams like Milwaukee, uh, those teams, to kind of move up. And mm -hmm. I think losing John Wall really hurts this team because he is their, their leader, and he's the guy that I think makes them go. This is actually not unrelated to the Blake Griffin trade because, you know, John Wall, this is a lot of knee issues for John Wall now. And he signed to that Supermax contract over the summer. He's, you know how much money John Wall's going to make in 2021? How much money, Zach? $45 million when he's 32 well years old. Well uh, deserved. Well deserved. This is why. The, this well is why the, I'm not saying it. No, John Wall is great. I'm like, I look at my all NBA votes yeah. and all that. from the, I'm a big John Wall fan. I'm just saying that downside is why the Clippers traded Blake Griffin. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure I would put it in the Blake Griffin category. This is a knee cleanup. This is not I, Blake Griffin. This is what, not his first. This is MCL. not his first knee cleanup know, of the but year. I would consider this more maintenance than like Blake ripped his M MCL right earlier yeah. this year. So I mean, the, we're talking about a difference in severity of injury. Fair. But yes, look, a, a lot of these players, by the time they get to this level, they've had some issues, and John is certainly one of them. Wizards are six Tom's and six with without him so far this year. Wizards all-star point guard John Wall will undergo a knee procedure this week and can miss two months, according to our Adrian Wojnarowski and reports. The Washington Post, first to report the news, added that Wall will not play in next month's all-star game. The procedure has been described as a cleanup, according to the Post. Stephen A., what does this mean for the Wizards? It means they can miss the playoffs. It means that their playoff aspirations are in jeopardy. That's, there's no other way to slice this. John Wall is their best player, their most complete player. Uh, Kelly Oubre has looked impressive this year. Uh, Otto Porter has been disappointing, if nothing else, because of his inconsistencies. Bradley Beal, class personified. I saw what he had to say about me yesterday. I had took no offense to it uh, whatsoever. Just the idiot reporters who constantly bring up my name to him. But that's neither here nor there. But Bradley Beal can ball. Uh, we know what he can do as long as he doesn't press too much. But the biggest issue with this team, uh, Max, is chemistry. They don't have much of it. And then you lose your star point guard. God, you talk about John Wall. You're, you're, you know, you're over 500, you're winning games, but you were shooting 45% from the field last year. It's at 41%. Max, he was shooting uh, close to 80% from the free throw line last year. It's down to 71, 72%. So you're not shooting from the field as well as you did last year. You're not shooting from the free throw line as much as you did last year. And the chemistry that you had, that you were still in a process of building from last year, has been diminished drastically already. And that is with you on the floor. So imagine what it's going to be like now, and then you combine that with the fact that Philly's on the come up. Oladipo is balling for Indiana, and Nate McMillan's doing a good job coaching them. The Pistons just got Blake Griffin. The Greek freaks in Milwaukee. I'm, I'm trying to wonder what's going to happen to the Wizards. Could this mean that you're going to miss the playoffs? It remains to be seen, but this is a big-time loss for them. This is actually, in a weird way, a good thing for them, Stephen A. First of all, it explains what's been going on with John Wall this year. You mentioned the field goal percentage down, et cetera, et cetera. You worry, if anyone's wondering about his toughness, he was obviously playing through pain, right? That's like, true. it explains why, and he tried as best he could to do it, and he just wasn't the same kind of guy, the same kind of player. So that's one. He needs to get it taken care of. Two. This one's going to be the Wizards' year anyway. You know, you went over the roster. I think Otto Porter's a good player, but because he's so good when you limit his exposure, the tendency is to, is, hey, maybe if we give if we give a higher usage, he'll be even better. He'll be really, really good. No, he is what he is, just a nice player. And that's all he is. Okay, so you found that out. Oubre is coming on, and he's young and he's getting better. Bradley Beal and John Wall still have to work it out and figure out how it works for them, but they have a talented roster that's still at least one big piece short from really being serious in an improving East. You mentioned Oladipo. You mentioned, by the way, the Toronto Raptors just, and you see what's going on with, uh, with uh, uh, DeMar DeRozan. He's become an elite player since he really yes. found the outside touch. The Raptors are really good. The Celtics are coming on. This was not going to be Washington's year. This 
tells everybody, hey, that John Wall you've been seeing, don't worry about it. That's not the real John Wall. And this roster that's not ready yet, okay, we can figure out what we got. We can maybe look to add a piece in the offseason and get serious about making a legitimate run next year. Obviously, the Cavs are in disarray. If Washington gets it together, they'll be as live as anyone next year. Well, John Wall is an amazing athlete and right. a brilliant passer and a pleasure to watch when he's at his best. Well, you and I are different in this respect, Max Kellerman. Otto Porter's getting paid over $100 million. I'll be damned if I want to hear okay. something about he's a nice player, but not. damn it, you better become a better player than that. Uh, Bradley Beal is in the midst of a $138 million deal. I'm sorry, that's, really that's some big-time money. I expect you to show up and handle your business. Markeith Morris can play. He's not a scrub. Gortat can play. He's not a scrub. Kelly Oubre is in his second year. The man should have played in Game 7 last year. Last time I checked, Scott Brooks yeah. once coached the team to an NBA Finals. I have expectations for these damn Wizards. I don't give a there when anybody yeah. says you the should be not in as the, as the mix. Celtics, you, know you should it. be in the mix. Yep. I'm and they it. are in the mix, but in the mix isn't good enough. They need another piece to get over the mix. Over the mix, yeah. that's fair. I'm I, talking about in the mix. Don't 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 use yep. this as an excuse to not be in the mix. Yeah, this year definitely not no in the excuses. mix. Since Wall's rookie season, the no Wizards excuses. have gone just 21 and 49 without him. That is well, well below 500.